Good morning, everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape. I've got Jack with me someplace. <laughs> it's a busy week. I told you it was going to be a busy week. This week we have a lot going on. We're still out here at Big Project out in Naperville. I'm loving the way it's turning out. A good thing about being on a project this long is you really develop a relationship with your customers, and these people are fantastic. Fortunately, I'm going to have to leave them at some point this week. I have to go to Idaho I'm working with Laura from Garden Answers. Hey how's it going Laura with Garden Answer? A selected group of certified Aquascape contractors out there. We've got some past artists of the year. That's going to be incredible. Can't wait to take you on that journey. And this week, Jack and I, we're going to be working on trying to rock in the rest of this section right in here. We've got a lot done. Today's focus is bridge. If we can get to the bridge, then everything is on schedule. So if we can get that bridge finished today, I'm feeling very confident about us hitting our schedule and getting all this other stuff done. Chris, what are you got going on this week? Can't wait to see what Chris Hansen sharing with us this week. He's always got a ton of information for us. Yeah, so busy, busy week out here in Naperville, Chris Hansen, Idaho. How do we do it? Because we're the pond guys. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. What is up everybody? It is Chris from Team Aquascape. Today on this episode, we are in Vancouver, British Columbia. That's right, Bo, Canada. We are at a beautiful living community that has dozens and dozens of buildings, private residences, all kinds of good stuff. But what's unique about this is this entire campus has seven water features on it. That's right, seven. And we are going to be creating the eight as part of a regional event where we're gonna be teaching certified Aquascape contractors and aspiring certified Aquascape contractors alike on how to successfully install ecosystem ponds and what better place to do it than in a place where they're clearly already living the Aquascape lifestyle. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. We've got a lot of attendees. We're gonna have a blast. Let's go. So speaking of the regional event, an incredible amount of the prep work has already been accomplished by Gord, Derek, and Chuck from our Canada branch. They've been working with the guys at Fontana Ponds and Water Features who are local here in the BC area and have done all of the other projects, especially the one you see behind me, which is absolutely stunning. Been working the last couple days just trying to get the site dug, lined, and we're gonna end up rocking in this pond and trying to get a majority of the heavy lifting done before our guests actually get here so that we ensure that we allow for plenty of time for that learning process, right? We wanna have these customers that pour a lot of time and resource into getting here, taking time away from their businesses and make it beneficial to them by allowing them plenty of time to learn, ask questions, get their hands dirty, but also just have a lot of fun and network and really strengthen the overall vibe of the tribe. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. We've got some beautiful weather ahead and we still have an incredible amount of work, but I have no doubt that we're gonna pull this one off and it's gonna be incredible. I'm here with Diego and Dan, the artists that put this incredible masterpiece together back behind me. We're here for Aquascape Regional Event. We got this beautiful 11 by 16 pond that we're gonna be building. We're gonna have a wetland filter, intake bay, little urn even. These have been really good clients of ours. It's a nonprofit organization. So for us to come here and donate something and put something in that's gonna benefit the lives of the people here, it just adds to what we've already done here. There's been a few features. We got the main feature, of course, behind us. But it, you know, this other location is gonna be more accessible to people that maybe can't get all the way out here. So that's what we're going for. And it sounds like, Dan, we've got some gorgeous rock, right? All the big granite we have here, we're gonna try and mimic that over at the other project. Yeah, yeah, we sort of want it to be cohesive throughout the whole property. Yep. So we've got lots of beautiful granite here, we got down there. Hopefully mimic something similar. This is basically on a smaller scale. Yeah. The wetland up top, a little bit of a stream, and then the pond down below at the intake bay. So hopefully it comes together nicely. Hi. All right, I'm back and it's looking better, but only to me. Like, I think to you guys, it's gonna look like a bomb went off because that's what it looks like in this stage of the project, but I'm super excited. Excited. Things are definitely coming together. We've got a lot to do, but I'm excited. Here we go. So you can see the guys from Premier are killing it. They're getting this wall done. This is going to be a giant planter. And remember, I was really hoping that this was just going to feel more like foyer to the garden. So we'll get a bunch of big trees in here, a bunch of arbs and color and that kind of stuff, making this feel even more intimate. And then as you walk in, you can see Perry and his wife have already started putting chairs and stuff out here, trying to put themselves into the garden and what it's going to feel like. My favorite part so far is the way that bowl is cut 
in there. And this is just gonna look so cool when that patio comes right up here and that water just crashes through all of this. We got some lights in down here, down there, over there. This is gonna be a super cool little waterfall. Can't wait to see this come together. Water's gonna come ripping through here. Water's gonna come ripping through there. I'll explain those pipes later because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. So right now, just use your imagination. They're tied into that though. We're gonna come in. We've got a SEMA liner today. So we've got our liner. We're gonna pull out this 40 by 60 foot liner. It goes from here all the way back through this down into our wetland. You can see we got a little bit of water. So we're gonna pump that stuff out. We gotta clean up some of the spoils that happened because of the rain, but no big deal. We'll get at it here. Hopefully we get a liner in today and this thing seamed and maybe aqua blocks. Yeah, I don't see why not. We'll get all the aqua blocks, snorkel, centipede, all that stuff going on over there. Maybe set a boulder, maybe set a boulder. So like we said earlier in the video, a major goal of ours for the first day was to get as much of this pond rocked in as we possibly could. Keeping in mind that we only really have about a day and a half with the contractors here and it's gonna be very, very tight. We don't want to rob them of any kind of educational time. So we're gonna get a majority of this pond done. So let me turn the camera on and just kind of show you where we're at. So we've got a main section of the pond. I would say we're probably pretty close to 50% of the pond being rocked, but this is that whole back area and the back edge. We are just starting to work our way into the intake bay. You can see we have 12 small aqua blocks in here. We still need to recess down the pump vault. We may save that for tomorrow, but I really wanted to kind of hammer out this backside here, get everything up to where only edges are left along this whole backside. And then where we stopped here was where the waterfalls is gonna come in from the wetland filter, waterfall stream area. And we're gonna leave that for Diego. You know, this is really his customer, his job site. We're just blessed to be able to host a regional event out here, but they already have seven other water features. The customer being this living community, really got bitten by the water bug and it just having that many is really a testament to all of the benefits that come with owning a water feature or a water garden and because they have so many residents here why not have so many water features so this will be number eight and the goal is again to have this pond rock today so that tomorrow we can get into digging that wetland getting it roughed in get our intake area done and really just allow ourselves some breathing room so we're not under the gun again just using the contractors coming here to learn as labor we really want them to leave fulfilled and better contractors than when they arrive. We want them to have fun and feel like they're a part of everything, but we only have so much time. So we're gonna get, I guess, a lot of the heavy lifting done today and getting the pond rock. We'll leave the edges because that's such an important piece to teach contractors. I think we've got about eight or nine tons of boulders already set. We've got probably another six or so to get to this point here. So wish us luck, everybody. You can see some sand down. We covered the entire thing with sand before we put down our fabric. Got our fabric in. Again, this is our wetland area. So we got waterfalls that are gonna drop in multiple directions in through here, giving sight lines to different parts of the house. Office over here, kitchen window over here, patio over there. So a big tall waterfall that way. More of this facing towards the office area. We put the sand down because we've got some monster boulders going in. Little pieces of gravel and stuff that could be back in there are now gone and not a problem because of the two inches of sand we have on top. Next, we're gonna put our liner in. We got a 40 by 60 foot liner. 40 is way overkill over here, but I need every bit of that to come up into this beachy area, down into our wetland, back out of our wetland, and then up into the waterfall space. The 60 feet will give us from there over there with a little bit of extra. I think I'm gonna do a dry stream bed over here and we'll get into that a little bit later. All right, next up, liner. <laughs> everybody it is Chris back from at the end of day two well almost the end of day two we have about another hour or so left of work but we're kind of at a bottleneck on the project because we have a lot of work left to do but we wanted to make sure that we left work for the attendees of the regional event now we rocked in about 65 70 percent of it we got a majority of the intake bay done behind me and I'll show you that in a second but we also start working our way up into the waterfalls we have the bottom series of waterfalls built here nice big three foot wide 
wide slab of stone. It will end up splitting around this rock in through here and we'll get a little kicker coming off. This waterfall will only be about six inches tall. Water level comes up right about there, disguising the bottom of that water. So just really, really wide, graceful water. Up here, we have the wetland filter getting dug in. This is going to be an in-stream wetland filter. This is a half a wetland, so we're going to have eight small aqua blocks, half a centipede and a full snorkel, and then we have the extraordinary Mr. Chuck Catton in there supervising. Originally, we had talked about potentially putting a full 16 small aqua blocks in there and doing a full wetland, but because of some underground utilities that we found and some unforeseen, we opted to go downsize it a little bit. There's still adequate filtration, so we kind of altered the design or the scope of the project a little bit, but all in all, it's way over filtered or almost hyper filtered using the 6,000 mile falls plus the half a wetland. And then of course we have the intake area. We have 12 small aqua blocks in here. So we want to have one small aqua block for every thousand gallons of flow per pump. So we've got quite a bit of work done today, but we still have an enormous amount of work left to do, but we are going to have a lot of helping hands and eager people here tomorrow, ready to help and learn and have fun. And we're gonna get going. All right, just quick progress. Our big giant planter is done. And remember the feeling for this is to have way more of this courtyard feel. So once we get these big trees in here and we have the height of the house, the height of this oak tree over here, this is really gonna feel super cozy. And through here, kind of a foyer, then it should open up over to here. You can, this straight line indicates where this patio is gonna start. Goes from here all the way to there. I kind of like that infinity edge patio, that water crashing right up against that area. So today I think the guys out here at uh, Premier are gonna get this patio, at least the screenings and stuff ready for us. We got all of this stuff done. Yesterday we got a ton done. We got our wetland filter put in. So this whole area is supposed to be like a 12 inch deep pool. And so we have our wetland sitting deeper. We've got aqua blocks down in here. One thing we did different, and you can go back and look at how we did this in our retail store, but we filled these guys up with bio balls. So I have 16 large aqua blocks filled with bio balls rather than using stone and gravel. And the simple idea, two main reasons reasons I wanted to do that. One, a big part of what we do is RD. Second is the bio balls have three times the square footage as the same size piece of gravel. And the whole idea is more square footage in your biological filter to grow more bacteria. So we should get three times the amount of beneficial bacteria in there. The second reason I want to do this is because it's easier to clean the bio balls than it is the rock and gravel, theoretically. So we're going to test it. Can't wait to let you guys know over time how these things are working for us. How are they keeping the pond clean? How are we doing with clean outs? All of that other stuff. You guys know the routine. Hang on, here we go. We are about an hour, hour and a half into day three. We've already went over the wetland filter. We went over to the intake bay. We went over seaming liners. So three very, very crucial and important teachable moments. So really, really happy with the progress that we're making. We've got the wetland almost done getting roughed in and we are gonna start working on the waterfalls just behind me. So we're gonna get these liners kind of rolled back and then start getting together a plan of attack and making a killer waterfalls for this already amazing project. And we have a lot of work ahead of us as we always do, but we are flying through and I'm really, really happy with the progress so far. So let's keep going and let's have some fun. So, Jean-Luc, you've never built a pond before. No, never. Yeah. Why the hell are you here? I just want to broaden my horizon and learn more about this, open up more possibilities to make customers happy. Yeah, because currently, what's your business model? Mostly artificial grass. Okay. It'd be nice to put a little bit of natural features into yep. our business as well. Yeah, that's incredible. Like, who would have thought? I've heard people, grass cutting companies, landscape maintenance, landscape installs, but artificial turf? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it can all blend together. Yeah, well, it definitely can. <laughs> well, is there anything in particular you really want to focus on, or you just like, you I just want to see the whole process? I'm just soaking it all up. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully we can accommodate you and, gotcha. and help you fulfill that. Cool. Okay, awesome. Yeah. We got pretty 
pretty far yesterday. So we got this in, got some of this in. We even got some edging and stuff done in through here. We got our bridge set. Super happy with the way it turned out. This area is just gonna look so good. We're gonna add another piece kind of going that way. The stone staircase eventually leads us all the way up to a deck that sits up in there. So today we're gonna work on layering some more rock up in there. You can see yesterday we got pretty far all the way over to where waterfalls and stuff are gonna start coming in. So this is gonna be a fun, fun waterfall to build back in this area. We've got a really cool destination boulder over here that kind of cantilevers out over our upper pool. Again, this is going to be a beach area, but loving the progress. And Jack and I have had a super interesting week. You notice Jack hobbling around a little bit. Jack was able to put four stitches in his knee yesterday. Right about there. Yeah, got a nice little incision as he was trying to parkour around the job site. And I got attacked by a bunch of bees, right? Yeah, a bunch yeah. of bees came and got me. So my legs, on Monday. my legs been a little swollen. I'm pretty allergic to bees. So three days later, and the swelling is starting to kind of go down, but it doesn't stop us, nope. right? Mm -mm. We go get them. So today we're going to do the same thing. The doctor told Jack, <laughs> he's got an electrical tape on it. What a goof. <laughs> the doctor told Jack, the doctor told me that I should work for a couple days. But what did we say? Uh, uh, we don't yeah, remember. Don't yeah. the drugs. No, <laughs> we love our jobs, right? Yeah. I love my job. So we're out here my job. setting more boulders because it's so much fun. Weather's perfect. Got an opportunity to get a lot done. No rain in the forecast for the next few days. So we're going to keep getting at it. And I think we're both just genuinely excited about this project. So we're just moving forward. Hope to show you guys a little bit more progress today. Jack, I know you wanted to say something, but nobody cares. So I'll go. <laughs> we're being safe. That's all that matters. We're being safe. Yep. Hard hats and shin guards today. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. Get some button up work done today. Show you the progress. Holy cow. We have water in the pond. We've got probably another nine, ten inches of water to fill it. And we've worked our way up through the main section of waterfalls. We are now in that upper pooling slash bog area and um, we're just kind of not really playing the waiting game but we need to get soil in here we need to start moving in some retaining stones to really shore up this side of the berm in through here so we're gonna need a lot of soil to finish this up we've got to finish up some plumbing and this was like team chuck over here with all of the CACs and aspiring CACs kind of coming in here running all the bib liners getting all of this graveled up we've got lights in here I am so excited for you guys to see this waterfalls it's gonna be absolutely incredible we've got split waterfalls all over the place we have have big sheets we've got big wide waterfalls it's just going to be absolutely incredible it's gonna be close to hitting our deadline tonight but I guarantee you we will see water flowing tonight I promise you that we may end up having to come back for a couple hours of detail work tomorrow but we are going to have this thing running and I don't want to disappoint these folks right so I'm gonna put the camera down and get back to work and stop yapping and start really doing something because I haven't really done much today other than just make sure things are happening so what a fantastic group it's been so awesome I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far but you're gonna continue to enjoy this it's gonna be awesome so Chris, here we are. We're at the finish line. The anticipation is almost palpable with everybody. Are you excited? Uh, I just can't wait for these waterfalls to come on. I'm looking at how you built them and it's, it's incredible. So is it going on anytime soon? It will be. I would say give us maybe 25, 30 minutes okay. and then come on back. And I'm sure that the, all of the onlookers, all of the residents here are going to be excited as well. Absolutely. You can see some of them lining up already. But I was here last night in Spectres. I can't believe it. I'm thankful for Aquascape to pick Elam and bless Elam with this gift. It's a true a gift for not only all the staff that we have hundreds of staff but for the hundreds of residents here that you could tell are excited about it and have been buzzing about it and it's truly a gift so we thank you now the soft scape's going in and we're in the home stretch well dude. for 25 minutes i'm not leaving yeah <laughs> good We kind of have the place to ourselves now. We've got a chance to kind of just soak it up, let it sink in. What do you think? That's phenomenal. Everybody did together in basically two days or uh, two and a bit. It came together nice. It looks great. This, this spot is phenomenal. Like so high profile here. Everybody was stopping just to sort of take a glance and take another ask a question. It was, it was wonderful. I don't know if you can get better than that. Just look at all the people just walking by, mm -hmm. looking. It's, it's just it's an immediate effect that it has on people. This is a destination. 
location because now lately we've been kind of wandering around and we're missing sort of that beautiful spot to sit and reflect on how the week went. It just offers a sense of peace and serenity there. You kind of forget the things that are maybe troubling to you. There's always this feeling of calmness that they have. It's also, it's like it, it grounds them. It makes them feel so much happier being outside in nature. And I think all of us know that for ourselves too. We're living on the second floor of the bower and our uh, view from our patio is right down into the gardens and into the lower pond. Oh, we just love it. And uh, everybody says, uh, you know, we've got the best view and that's what we figure too. We've got the best place in the whole, whole uh, complex here. It is, I think, definitely stimulation for the elderly people who live here, for sure, in many different ways. Because most of the time it's totally isolating and these ponds, and I mean, they're so gorgeous, are a draw for the rest of the neighborhood. Like, I mean, people who don't live here come here to walk and enjoy and see what there is to see. Huge thank you to everyone who's contributed to it. I don't know that you can fully appreciate how much we appreciate that when living here. One of my favorite things to do after we turn the waterfalls on and everything's done and details are done is really kind of you know, pick it apart and not in a negative way. It's more admiring the little wins that we got on the project just by putting a rock a certain way or, or how we did things. And I just think that's, that's such a crucial part of being an artist. Totally satisfied with what you did, even though we're blown away looking at it. But it's cool to come over here and just pick apart some of the, the little nuances. The big wide waterfall, you know, the, the, the rock right there where the water is lit behind. And it's just, I love this little waterfall here. It contributes to this whole section here. You know, it gives you something to look at over on the side. And it just gives you multiple layers on this area of waterfalls. I love that, yeah. that this big wide waterfall here sets the elevation for the pooling area in the wetland filter. This area in through here, this waterfall really dictates how much water we have in this upper pool, right? This yeah. is the wetland filter. We've got a fountainscape up here. And then there's deep water. I think yeah. that's such a cool effect. It's just to have this big upper pool. And this is the kidney for the system, yep. right? Very, very well disguised. Basically, it was just a big, what, like seven by seven, seven by eight foot yep. square. I love that there's some rocks out of water. There's some that are just barely out of water, like that yeah. triangle rock. Those are like those little bird bathing rocks where yep. they're gonna be perched on that little knob, oh, get in there, wet their beaks. It just looks awesome. And then having, you know, kind of the idea to put a waterfall right off the side, right? Yeah, yeah. 6,000 biofalls, like additional Completely 90 degree to the rest of it, yep. too. That's, that's what, and then this rock that you're standing on, like yep. kicks everything over. Yep. Because if that rock wasn't here, it'd just be a straight, straight line, line right down. Yep. You guys did a fantastic job. It really felt like a good old fashioned barn race. Yeah, okay. Appreciate you guys. Hey, Appreciate man. the CACs. Thanks for making the trip. It was awesome working with you. This has been great. Though. It was. Yeah. Well, that was an exciting week. So amazing to see what Chris and the rest of the guys out in Vancouver did on that project. Even jealous, right? Like I would love to be part of that. But it was good to get back home, give Jack a hand with that project we're working on back at home. Just so much going on as always. And if you thought last week was busy, this week's even crazier. You guys, if there's an episode you can't afford to miss, it's going to be next week. And here's why. Because I am in Idaho at Laura from Garden Answers House, and we are working on an epic project. Well, it's actually done. So next week, you guys are going to see what we created right behind me. We're going to go through a lot of design. We're going to talk to Laura. We're going to talk to the CACs that are out here. We've got three past artists of the year out here. It's going to be an awesome, awesome week. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe and tell me your favorite part and then next week I'll show you why I'm so sunburned. Okay, see you next week. Bye.